Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with Get On Stream. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add a blur effect to OBS so that you can potentially, you know, cover up private information on your stream if that's something you need to do. Or you can go ahead, you can add a blur effect maybe to like a bottom third where you can add a title above it or you can add your, you know, stream alerts on top of a blur to make it look modern and, you know, have a nice effect. You could also have it, you know, to your left or right and have a panel where you have your chat above a blur so they can still kind of see your background, but they can also see your chat a little bit more clearly. So let's jump in and show you exactly how to do this. If you do enjoy the video, please do give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe if you are new here, and let's do this super quick. So first thing that we need to get is an extension for OBS called StreamFX. So this is StreamFX right here. I will leave a link to the GitHub page down below in the description. And to go ahead and download it, you wanna come over here to the right hand side. You can say releases, click on the latest release here. Also do make sure that you have your OBS updated to the latest version of OBS to make sure that these work together. Scroll right down to the bottom here and depending if you're on Windows or Mac, go ahead and download. I'm on Windows for this video, so I'm gonna click the Windows extension right here. All you have to do is click this and StreamFX will go ahead and install. You might see this pop up here, Windows protected your PC. Don't worry about that, the extension is completely fine. You can just click more info here and then run anyway. I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna do that, but you can literally just run that. Make sure you've got OBS closed while you're running it. And then once it's installed, go ahead and fire up OBS. So you can see here, I've got OBS open. Now you're gonna see uh, two screens of me because I'm using OBS to record this video. But whenever you jump into OBS, you'll now see StreamFX up in the top left-hand corner here. There's a couple of different things in here that you can see, nothing really important, but if you wanna join the Discord or report bug problems uh, or suggestions, stuff like that, you can do it in this section, but that'll just let you know that the app is in fact installed. Now, I'm gonna be showing you in this video how to add a blur like this. I've just got a simple image down here. You can see I've added a blur over it. So there's tons of different things that you can do with this. You might wanna add a lower third or add it to the left-hand side of your stream. So how do we go about doing it? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the effect to my scene. Because I'm using OBS to record, I need to do that so it doesn't you know, put the effect on my camera. Um, but you can do it directly on your camera. So you could come in here and apply the effect directly to that source. You can do this to images. You can do it to browser sources you can do you know pretty much anything so if you've browser sources and you maybe need to hide a section if maybe you're a crypto streamer and you don't want to show private keys or something on stream and there's a specific part where you want to hide them keys you can go ahead and do that so what we're going to do is i'm going to apply it to the scene so just going to right click click on filters and we'll actually have a ton of extra filters in here now because we are using StreamFX. So if I come in here to add, you can now see I've got all of this. You probably don't have that if you don't have StreamFX, but I'm gonna select the blur option. I'm just simply gonna call it blur right here. And you can see that there's a couple of different types. So the one that you probably want to use, you can see right now that my camera is kind of blurry. We've got a simple box blur on here. If I turn it up, it goes really, really crazy. If I turn it down, you know, it goes away. The one that you probably want to use is dual filtering. Dual filtering is going to be the least uh, resource intensive on your CPU and GPU. So we're gonna use that for this tutorial. Then we can bump up that size a little bit. That's gonna give us a nice little blur. I'd probably go in around, uh, not 13, probably in around like the eight mark or something like that. So we've got eight here. Now that is obviously just gonna apply that to your whole scene or to your whole source, depending on what you selected. So obviously it's probably not what you want to do. You probably want to do a specific part of the screen. So the next thing that we can do is click apply mask right here. And if we scroll down, we can adjust uh, the left edge, top edge, right edge, and bottom edge. So if we move this in from the left, you can see that it starts to take away that blur. So if you wanted, for example, to have your chat up here in the left-hand side above my bookcase, what we would do is we'd move that right edge in get my face to be unblurred, and then just have this left section with the bookshelf be blurry. And you can see if you know I would completely remove that, the bookshelf gets less blurred. So that's how you would add that. Now we could just leave it like that. Uh, you could also add in a lower third, right? So obviously mine is covering up two screens here. The reason I do this, a lot of people ask is because I'm recording this video, it means I can record my camera and my screen at the same time, and then have two different sources when I'm editing to edit them, which makes it really, really easy. But we're gonna go ahead here, uh, if we move up that bottom edge right up here, so we might wanna add a lower third about there, and then bring in the top edge right down, so I could have 
that blur right there and then have all i would probably do it actually just right at the bottom so move that bottom edge right down to there have that top edge move down a little bit and then i could have my notifications there now we could even bump up you know when it's this small bump up that blur a little bit more so that you can really see those notifications if you set them on top or those stream alerts if we set them on top so it really is as simple as that when you're using the stream fx plugin to go ahead and blur a part of your screen that's pretty much it for this video there is a couple of other things that you can do inside that blur function so again if we jump into uh, the scenes here click on filters so there is a couple of other things that we can do in here for example right now you can see i've done like a box blur on this and then have a directional blur so it kind of goes side to side you can do a rotational where it's going to it should give us like a spinny one so if i close this and open it up again if we put a rotational or a zoom blur on it for example you can see it kind of zooms in now the rotational one doesn't seem to be working at all for some reason so you can see there is a couple of other options there as well but the main one is just if you want to blur a section of your screen this is how you can do it easily in obs studio if this tutorial has helped you please do go ahead give it a big thumbs up hit subscribe if you are new here and check out some of the other videos on the channel